Ed Sheeran, how are you doing? Very well, how are you? I'm okay. I think you are one of the few people in the world that I've never heard a bad word said about. Really? Nothing. 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 Nada. Yet. Oh. It's all good. That's lucky. I'll, I'll give you my Twitter feed one time. You can have a read <laughs> down it. Well, what bad things do they say? Oh, well, Twitter's just one of these places where people can be keyboard warriors. So there's, mm. there's, yeah, there's some bad things. Some good things as well. Usually death threats. Uh -huh. <laughs> but usually from like 12-year-olds in Stoke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. We all know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, so congratulations on the glorious career you're having. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does, um, does it feel good you're in? I'm enjoying every second of it. Every, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of weird because like I had dreams and aspirations and all of them were achieved the week the album came out and ever <laughs> since then it's all been a, a plus so yeah a plus yeah do I keep it in there eh? <laughs> um, yeah you couldn't have uh, wished for a better sort of kickstart to a career could you no no I don't think um, don't think there's anything that could have gone better it 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 was very very smooth all the songs that were meant to be played on radio were played on radio and all the venues that were meant to be sold out were sold out and all the, yeah, now the album's made. Well, you're one of those people who reminds us that it is all about the song. Well, it can't, it can't be about the physical image, can it, really? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got to be given you have to be strikingly good looking and sing well and, but, and play well, but the song is, is everything, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. I think, I think luckily I've never sold records based on my image, which, um, my, my image isn't going to improve with age, mm. I'll just say that, but <laughs> my songs will, so that's a good thing. If I can always just sell songs off the back of being songs, you know, I won't have to get my moves out when I'm 50. Mm -hmm. Thank God for that. <laughs> What's more satisfying, having number one hits of your own or having number one hits for, for One Direction or being on a Taylor Swift album? Um, having Writing other people's hits is always it's lovely, but it's always quite frustrating because you're like, oh, God. If I'd have known that would have been a hit, I would have kept it for myself, you know? What are you talking about? Well, like, Little Things went number one, and it was the only song that I've ever had that's gone number one. Yeah. And that was kind of like, oh, oh, I could have actually had a number one with that. That's a shame. But, yeah. Well, it's not bad cashing that One Direction check, I wouldn't have Not thought. at all. Not at <laughs> all. It's a great check to cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate, um, the new album. Yes. Multiply. I'm, I'm looking forward to the forthcoming albums um, subtract and divide by the way is that the I don't know what you're talking about but maybe yeah yeah somewhere down the line <laughs> we'll see maybe pie as well pie. just a picture of a pie mm. yeah R not R the symbol pie just a picture of a pie yeah that'll be when I'm 50 with moves you could do yeah. that R squared or something yes um, E equals multiply a very diverse album one could say yeah, it's it's different. It's um, I've uh, I got pulled in many different directions on it. I was given a lot of uh, um, opportunities to work with musicians and producers that uh, really pulled me out of my comfort zone. Um, I started off making another acoustic record, and it turned into a neo soul funk record. How does that happen? Um, I don't know really. Like I spent. I just spent a lot of time with hip-hop producers. I did a lot of work with Pharrell, a lot of work with Rick Rubin, a lot of work with Benny Blanco, and just ended up ended up experimenting, I guess. Well, they're pretty good people to be working with, proven hit-makers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but, but, but also re-energising re me. I'd been making the album for two years uh, before I stepped in a studio with someone like Rick, Rick Rubin, and I was kind of done. I was like, I can't be bothered with this anymore. And he just revamped everything. We re-recorded all the songs in more interesting ways and did it all live and made it a bit more raw and interesting. So, yeah. Hmm. Um, so the Pharrell song is the, is the first single, Sing? Yes. Tell me about that. Tell me about Pharrell. God, he, he's got the Midas touch, hasn't he? Yeah. No, he, Pharrell's, Pharrell's an interesting one, man. Like, I, I, uh, he tweeted about the A-team, and I saw him at the Grammys, and I was like, well, I'm going to have to go and say up to him. Sorry, I'll just pick that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I'll put the name back on the floor. Um, and I saw him there, and I was like, I'm, I'm just going to go up to him and say hi. And I was like, hey, man. He's like, yo, we've got to get in a studio together. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, and then I went, I went in, and he does this thing where he kind of sits down at a keyboard, and we'll literally make a beat within three minutes and just look at you and be like, do you like it? And you'd be like, and he'd be like, cool, deletes it onto the next one. Do you like it? And you're like, and it's just onto the, like literally all these genius ideas he's doing, but he's just throwing them and deleting them. Throwing well, them, well it's sort them. of a riff type thing. Yeah, and he does this one riff, which is the main riff of the sing song. And he was like, do you like it? And I was like, 
and he was like, come on, man, like, <laughs> this this is pretty good. And I was like, man, like, because Pharrell's very, um, he works in different chords modes and he loves jazz. And I've, jazz is something I've never really got my head around. I'm, I'm definitely into, like, melodies and, and things that um, fit, like, they sound calm rather than jazz can be quite on edge at times. Mm. And he's like, you should try something out on this. And I was like, dude, like, I, can we just like, do, do something a bit more standard, singer, songwriter, E, G, E, that yeah. kind of thing. A minor. And, and he's like, cool. And then I start playing the guitar and I start playing this riff. And then he's like, do you know what you're playing? And I was like, no. And he was like, that's the riff I was just playing you. And I was like, is it? And then he got back up the tune and was like, yeah, that's the riff. And I was like, oh. And he was like, dude, just try something. So I, tr I tried, well, I wrote a lot of stuff over that over that one riff, and we structured it all up. I, I I wrote probably about three different choruses, four different verses, and we structured it all up. And then he was like, right, we'll cut out the chorus, so it's just a drop down, and then it kicks back in with like a football chant. And it's a very interesting experience. Wow. Very very uh, uh, OCD, just like yeah. Totally different from sitting in your bedroom with your little guitar singing a. No, but that's no, no. the thing. I mean, there are there are elements on the album that are just me singing on the guitar. But like, there are also elements on the album where I've really been taken out of my comfort zone and created some stuff that I really dig, really like it. Yeah. And you're happy with all that? I'm very happy with it. Very <laughs> happy with it. It's, there's a rap in there somewhere. There is a rap. Yeah, there's a rap. Ed Sheeran rapping, ladies and gentlemen. Gangster. Um, <laughs> it's not gangster rap. It's a rap about um, a bottle of water filled with tequila. Right. Which happened? That would be a bottle of tequila. No, but it looks like water. Oh. Yeah. Bottle of tequila disguised. If you it? ever see me at an award show with a bottle of water, it's uh -huh. probably not He's water. He's on the sauce again. <laughs> yeah. It's um, just fun on 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 the red carpet. It, it makes things a lot more fun. Tequila. Yeah. I came yeah. out on the red carpet when when at the te Teen Awards when I, I had a bottle of bottle of that. You came out. Yeah. Just you know to stir things up a bit. Oh, how'd that go for you? And no one believed me. <laughs> it's a shame. What is that status, by the way? My status? Mm. Single? Um, yes. No. Don't know. What's the time now? Sorry, I shouldn't have. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I, know. I, I, I don't know. It's just one of these things that, you know, like, when you're in the public spotlight, you can say anything and it makes a story. So, um, uh, yeah. Are you, are you single? Would you? After this, you know, have you got time for a drink? Yeah, sure. We could, we could go out. Have an problem. espresso martini. Thank you. Have a cuddle. Like you, Martin, maybe. Yeah. Um, hey, um, you know what would make a lot of people happy for you and Taylor Swift to get together? What is it with you two? Is it the red thing or what's going no, on? No, you know, I get I get on with her very well as a friend, but I, I don't know if... That life's completely different to mine, the being followed around by paparazzi and, and having that adoration and spotlight thing. And, like, it's... I don't know. I've never had that yet. I might, I might have that, and I might be able to relate to it a bit more. But w w whenever I'm in that situation, I feel, um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, it's not really, it's not really me. Well, it's a sort of an American thing, isn't it? It's an English thing as well. It's yeah, an it is, of course thing. it is. It's but I don't. Way. But I think it's more of a female thing. You never really find guys that are chased around by paparazzi unless they knock out paparazzi, like Kanye. Well, have a like chat to you One Direction mates. They'll tell you something different. Oh, yeah, no, they do. That's Harry, different. Harry, though. I think, seen the odd camera pointing at him. No, but you know what? I go out with Harry a lot, and there's only paparazzi at, like, places you'd expect there to be paparazzi. Like, out, we went to a book launch the other day, and that's a book launch, and there's paparazzi outside, but we'll go to, like, Nando's, and there's not... You know, he's not, like, always followed, whereas Taylor literally has them outside her house waiting to... waiting until she leaves. That would be a pain. Yeah. Um, you know where you're going to see paparazzi? Yes. At the Logies. At the Logies, am I? Are the paparazzi's going to be there? Well, there'll be lots of cameras and lots oh, of fans screaming. Oh, yeah, all right, all right, yeah. But it's not going to be like crazy TMZ people trying to no. provoke me. No. But you've got the, the burying the headline here. Ed Sheeran is playing at the Logies. Huh? Yep. Ed Sheeran is playing at the Why am I saying that? I am playing at the Logies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you know about the Logies? Uh, not much. Not mm. much. I hear good things. It's television's Night of Nights in Australia. There you go. And um, we're going to have a good time. And you're in good company. Kylie's on the bill. Oh, good. Oh. Kylie introduced me to the Queen. Did she? Oh. Look at that. Like, that's random, isn't it? Like, at the thing, the Jubilee. Yeah, but she it. was the one that walked up and goes, Sorry, Queen, this is, this is Ed. And Ed, this is... And my accent she, isn't great. What did she call it? Queen? Uh, 
hope she called you Lizzie? Majesty or something. Lizzie, Ma- yeah, yeah, yeah I think it was your, your, your Majesty. It would have been better. It would have been Queen. It but Kylie Car- Car- got drunk with my mum afterwards. Did she? Yeah, my mum like disappeared. Me and my dad ended up chatting to a bunch of Paul McCartney's band at the bar, and my mum just disappeared. Oh, hang on, I'll just get that for you. Okay. It was the Queen's Jubilee. Like you can't not drop names at that. Like it was like the one night where you can drop names, and it was his band. It wasn't even like it was him. Okay. It was earlier, but like we were chatting to his band anyway, and his band are really nice. Yeah. And my mum disappeared, and like she turns up wasted. Uh, Your and, mum. Yeah, and and she's. I was like, where where have you been? And she's like, oh, I've just been with Kylie on the sofa <laughs> drinking wine. Drinking Tim's yeah, with God. Pretty much, but yeah, I like wow. Kylie. She so tweeted me the day after and said I'd got drunk with your mum last night. So I your mum got that. sloshed with Kylie Minogue at the Queen's Jubilee gig at Buckingham Palace. Yes. Wow, there's a whole lot of... <laughs> that's a pretty cool story. When do you go, <laughs> when's the book coming out? The book? Mm. Uh, October. Mm. October. Uh, no, I am actually bringing out... It's not... It's, oh. it's a... Uh, the guy that does all my artwork, all my, uh, my album cover, like the guy that drew that and all my single artwork done the new album cover, uh, he's bringing out an art book and... I've done some words for that, so there is a book coming out, but that's oh. it's not an autobiography. Oh well. Although by the time an autobiography comes out, I've got some cool stories. Yes. Like there's some definitely some some random alcohol and everything else fueled nights. Mm. That night at the Logies. Who could forget? Are we going to have a night like that at the Logies? Actually, we should. But everything's so expensive in in Australia. Like what? Everything. Like what? Like everything. Houses are expensive. Houses are expensive. Yes. Don't have to buy a house when you come and sing at the Logies. No. Although you probably could. I'd, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. What do you find expensive? What? Um, I'm doing market research now. Everything. Everything. Um, the, yeah, everything. What do you buy in Australia? You wouldn't buy a damn thing. Everything's in, 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 imported, isn't it? So it all costs more. Like, beers there are very expensive. We make our own beer. Well, yeah, but well, if Foster, you're buy that, Foster's isn't the best beer, though, is it? You make better Australian beers. There you are, get offended when I say Foster's. There are many great Australian beers. Mm. Cooper's from South Australia. It's a good one. I like Australia a lot. Except you S- think you're claiming it's hideously overpriced. Some of it is. The, the, the wages there are higher, though, because everything's mm. overpriced. Mm. Have you walked outside your front door here? This isn't my front door, though. I live in, I live in the, the, the South London. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite cheap there. Very difficult. <laughs> I live near Chicken Cottage. Have you been there? No. This you is live like in fa- uh, what's it called? Fa- fairly, fairly. Uh, what's it called? Oh no, I don't live there. No, Fram- Fr- Framling- Framlingham. I grew up there. No, I live in I live in South London. It's got the biggest uh, fried chicken restaurant in London in Tooting, just down the road. You should go. There's like a ball pit and everything. What do they do in Tooting? Uh, they do uh, twenty wings for five pounds. Wow. Mm. Twenty wings for five quid. Yeah. Well, there you it's go. It's good, it's tasty. What is, but seriously, what have you noticed is expensive in Australia? Uh, Don't say everything. The food. Okay. The drinks. Well, the fancy restaurants that you're shouting your people out to are obviously. Yeah. Here he comes. Here's I a rich, guess so. Rich rock stars, you pay retail. Well, no, because the label pay for the meals when we go to Australia. But I went to a steak restaurant and they didn't do ketchup. Well. I found that quite odd. And they got offended when I asked for ketchup. Yeah, because the, the chef's made it beautifully the way he wants you to eat it. Yeah, but like I've got ketchup tattooed on my arm. So like... Shit. I oh know. My gosh. That's how into it I am. Dooley, dooley. Yeah. Can you get close up of that? Yeah. Wow, little... Does everyone know about that? Yeah. Okay. I'm into it. I got, but, but that's I did my first tour date in America in Pittsburgh, which is where ketchup was made, so that's why I got that. But like... That's how dedicated I am to ketchup. Mm. Ketchup, steak and chips with ketchup. Goes well, right? Heinz should pay you for that. They made me some ketchup, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it said Ed's ketchup. I have it in my house. That's very so cool. So no one can touch it because it's... Mate, what a lovely guy you are. It's, <laughs> it's you lovely to chat to. Please don't edit it to make me look like I have no, no, no. a twitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you at the Logies. Thank you. See you at the Logies. Thank you.